All right, so I'll be using a drop D tuning for this, D, A, D, G, B, E. Um, but a special note here, uh, if you're trying to play along with the recorded version, it may have been sped up or slowed down just slightly. So it's, I think it's about uh, like a quarter pitch sharp. So it might sound a little funky. Um, but for our purposes here, I'm just going to keep it in a, a drop D tuning and that should work just fine for you. Uh, the main progression here, we'll start with this B flat sus2 chord. All right, so we're just going to do eighths on the D and the A and then tens on the middle D and the G. All right, and with this, the strumming on it, it's kind of like down, down, up, down, up, down, something like that. Just like one, one, two, one, two, three. Something like that, all right. It doesn't really matter if you're down or up or whatever. Just kind of like get the, the one, one, two, one, two, three. Something like that, all right. And we go through that twice with that chord. All right, and then we'll basically just lift off the eights there. So we just end up with the open D and A. And then uh, mostly you just worry about, you don't really need to get the G into this. You can if you want, it's not a big deal. You can just keep it there. But uh, we just keep that 10 on the middle D. And this just becomes like a, a version of a D7. And it's the same strum. We just go through it once. All right, and then we do this little walk down on the middle D, keeping that same open on the low D and A, where we'll drop down to the eight on the D. All right, just hit it once, and then we go to seven. And we do the one, two, one, two, three on the seven. Okay, so we went. There's kind of a fun little thing that happens there once we get into the uh, like the full blown like the drums come in everything comes in and it's just the full blown riff. The first time we do it, uh, once we get to that seven on the middle D, you know we went. Once we hit that, if you happen to have a kill switch, you can just hit the one two three four on it. So just a little fun thing you can do there. Um, I guess if you don't, you don't have that option, you can do like, maybe just like a palm mute on it and go one, two, three, four. Something like that, that could be cool. Uh, so a couple options there for that, just for that um, kind of initial time we hit it. And I think it happens again, maybe in the final time we go through it. But other than that, the second half of kind of the whole progression here starts the same way with the eights and the tens. Do that twice again. All right, but then like the second half of it on the second run through, instead of staying at the 10 for a bit, then doing the eight, seven, we just immediately go to the eight, do a couple there, and then go to seven, one, two, three. So we kind of split that second uh, strum there. We go eight once with the opens. And then we do eight, seven, and then the one, two, three on the seven. And we repeat that whole thing twice. All right, and then aside from that, you just kind of start from the very beginning and do the whole thing. Other than that, we'll get the lead sections that come in, and this kind of splits off into two different little lead riffs, I guess. So uh, start here on the 10 of the G, and we hit that, hold it a moment, go down to the 8 high E, hold that just a sec, and then go to the 9 on the G. All right, and then we walk down the B, 11 to 10, and then land on 10 of the G. All right, and just do that whole thing a couple times. All right, and then the second lead riff is we hit the 10 of the G, but we just hit it, hold it a moment, do it again, and give it a bend and release. 
Then we come down, hit the eights on the high E, stay on it, hit it again. And that last beat, we hit the nine of the G. All right, and we repeat that twice. All right, and that's kind of like the whole lead section there. Um, other than, you know, the main progression that we just did and the lead section, those are pretty much the only, uh, the only differences other than maybe like uh, during kind of the very beginning, the intro and kind of that middle break section, you just kind of lay off the effects a little bit. And as far as the effects, you know, I'm just rolling with kind of like the, the neck position here and like uh, just some overdrive, reverb, and there's just a little bit of like chorus involved too. So if you want to experiment with those effects, uh, should be good.